Hey guys, this is William again. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Jace 3 interface. So I have the Jace 3 here with me. Mm, damn, oh, no, the focus is actually pretty bad on this camera. So I apologize for the quality, but hopefully you can, you can learn something from this video. So this is the J3 itself. I already I went ahead and actually put in the background. So let's see if I can actually get a better picture here. Okay. So I guess not, but you know what? Let's just try to zoom in here. So essentially you have the new icons here, music, video, camera, uh, documents, flash, browser, radio, record, and setting. So besides this menu, you can also do a different menu as well. So you actually had to hold and drag, and I'd actually I didn't read the manual until just now, so I figured out how to do the menu. So I hold and drag, and you see these three little icon here. So for the second one here, you can have it like you can display your screen like this. So you can scroll up and down. Just select it. Also shows your show the music, the video, batteries, and I'm actually at 50% after two full days of playing and just playing around, playing with videos, music, so it's been, you know, the battery life, it's pretty decent, but, you know, it's not exactly amazing like they claimed. So, well, you know, further testing will probably do more justice to the J3, so probably stay tuned for next next review. So anyways, carrying on, there's also one more menu here. This is more like a customized menu in which you can put in your widget. So for me, I actually put, I decided to put icons there. So the same icon, same order, it's just that I added a stopwatch. I also added um, the calculator and the typist. So I'm just going to briefly go through the program here. On this side, adding a bunch of widgets here. Calendar, we have the alarm, we have the memory, we have we have the album list, checklist, and on this side here we have the widget which has in this case this one is actually quick memo notes. Quick memo notes which tells you what it is. Oh shoot. Yeah the camera quality sucks on this thing for sure. Let's see if we get a shot so you can see these are just a bunch of touchpad with letters and all that stuff and you can save it and you know for me I put in a little picture viewer with comics because I was trying to figure trying to figure out what the comics X program do you know it's pretty limited but I guess it's better than nothing I suppose so that's pretty cool so um... it didn't really explain how to get the widget so I'm just going to explain briefly here so you can see the recycling box the arrow there that arrow that the one on the very bottom here that looks like a recycle bin you click on that it shows shortcuts and it shows all the ones you could have put in the menu so what you do is you go to widget and for example I am looking at oh fucking christ oh wow the camera quality is abysmal here at best so man terrible Anyways, I'm looking at the brightness. So I'm just, for example, there's a brightness one here. You hold it, and you can see you can move the widget around, and then you just drag it into the widget. Okay, for example, I put it on top of everything here. Probably not a good idea because you can't see anything. So if you want to get rid of it, you click on it, and you just drag it into the recycle bin. See how you drag it? There's a little, it lights up. So drag into it, and just let go. Oops, let me try again. Because I failed miserably there. Drag it and pop it right in. Okay, and now it's gone. Okay, so that's how you use the the menus there. So I'm just gonna uh, go back to this basic menu here. So using this menu, I actually like this menu the best. It's pretty cool. You can rotate it, and the letter actually goes back and forth. I thought it was pretty neat, except for one thing. Um, if you scroll all the way down, like it it, it pops back, right? It's just an like it's kind of like elastic in the in the sense that it goes down by itself but you see is the sen the thing is that it does actually tell you how to actually get the menu done so for example I have the setting tab all the way on the bottom there and there's no way for me to actually reach it because you know this doesn't recognize two finger gesture except for using the um, image mode so I'm trying to get my setting 
tab to come up but I can't seem to press it so I think that's something I need to work on because that's annoying and you know I think a setting menu is probably more important than it's a flash or even document I actually found the flash included to be really crappy once again it's just something that's good to have but you know we don't actually need not actually the main cell part of this player so yeah so I like this menu for me it, it kinda works and um, let's go back to the main you know what let's just stick with this mode just cause you can see the letter better you go to music oops sorry I actually went to the comic viewer so let me go back music and I am surprised J3 doesn't actually include um, visualizations when they play music. For example, I'm playing music here. And uh, yeah, I'm, you know, for me, because I came from a P2 player, I kind of expected to have visualization when I play music. So, you know, I was kind of disappointed that this doesn't include that same function as the P2. So this is the P2. You can see how you got all the pretty cool funky stuff there. So yeah. Kinda disappointed by it. Maybe you know maybe that's something they can add onto it. Not a really big deal because you know you're not gonna look at your screen. But it's just a little nice thing to have. Anyhow, moving on. So that's the music. <laughs> And I think another problem with J3 at the moment is the lack of playlist, like play and drop playlist. Because I can't seem to figure out how to create it yet, just yet. And a lot of people are having trouble with it. So essentially, when I want to play music, the music I want to play, I have to put it all in the same folder and do that. And you know, it gets kind of tedious, really annoying because you have to keep on going back. To keep on going back to the, the, your root folder, which is where you put all your stuff in, and go to the folder where the songs are. For example, folders, and go from there. You know, my fingers too fat at the moment, so you know that's just something I don't really like. Another thing is that I found the the accelerator to be a bit sluggish. Like it doesn't actually. Like, it turns very slow, at least for me. It's just not very responsive, I suppose. I don't know, like when you have it in your pocket and you're pulling out, it's just not very, like it just doesn't shift fast enough for me, I guess. Kind of slow, I wonder if you could, like, eliminate that kind of feature and make it go faster. Just a little nitpicking, but I guess that's some detail because some people might care. So anyway, so that's my quick briefly brief, um, I guess, add-on review to the J3. So, uh, so far, it's been a pretty good player. I'm pretty sure there's also a lot of tons of videos with all the menus and everything. So I'm just gonna call it a night for now until I have something better to report. Oh, I guess one thing I should note mention is that the jelly case it came with the koan official case uh, I find it actually kind of hard to press just because the buttons the button placement are kind of a little bit off on the side so it's hard for me to press volume unless I press directly on the seam of the case and that's kind of not really intuitive because once again I came from a P2 where the, where the volume button is actually on one side right yeah I wish they also have um, I have a volume button I can switch like in a player like just like the P2 maybe I should get a P3 instead but so far I'm liking the Koan J3 I'm pretty sure I'll grow to like it even more but yeah I think that's the end of my review for now for the time being so thanks for watching